Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Henderson from IT Pro Today and welcome to our weekly update for January 18th. This is the show where we talk about the week's top tech headlines and why they matter to IT pros like you. This week, we heard from Microsoft on a confirmation of an end date for support of Windows 7. I'll be talking to our reporter, Richard Hay, on that. If you're looking for a new job in 2019, you'll want to read more about the career outlook for machine learning and software developers. Finally, we've got a sneak peek at what to expect from the new Galaxy devices, which Samsung is launching next month. For more on these headlines, keep on watching. The top story this week, and one that was trending on social media, is the end of support for Windows 7. I talked to Richard Hay, the reporter on the story, who's got more on what enterprises need to know before next year. Hi, Richard. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, how you doing, Nicole? I'm good, thanks. So the big news this week, Windows 7 is going away. Can you talk a little bit about that? I can, you know, we just did an article this week on IT Pro Today. It's we're now less than a year away from the end of support, lifecycle support for Microsoft's Windows 7 operating system. Windows 7 came out all the way back in 2009. And when you look at technology today compared to 10 years ago, how much things have changed, the, the technology landscape itself, from the hardware to the threats to the security aspect of things, privacy, data protection, mm -hmm. and so we, you've got a lot of people that are still on Windows 7, extremely popular. It's just like Windows XP and Windows 2000. Those are the last two big uh, OS migrations for Microsoft. And for enterprise users, Windows 2000, when that went away in July of 2010, folks, had, folks at that time shifted to Windows 7. And right. that's kind of where they went and they sat at because Windows 7 was a terrific operating system, but it's also almost 10 years old now. So the technology that's been incorporated into Windows 10, which is where Microsoft wants folks to go, is, is so much more superior from a security aspect, from privacy, from data, from the entire evolution on more modern hardware and support wise, the way it can be supported. What are the key takeaways for enterprises? Well, most definitely, if you haven't even started thinking about this, you got to start thinking about it. You're less than a year away from end of security updates. And in this day and age, security updates are way too important. There are ways around that. You can fork out a lot of money to Microsoft for what's called extended support updates, security updates, and they will continue to feed you updates for your system at a cost per device. And every year that is going to ramp up. It's going to go right. up a little bit more every year for that support. Uh, Microsoft also offers their new Windows Virtual Desktop service, which will support Windows 7 on a virtual desktop, so you would get it from Azure. And again, those are going to get the three years of free security updates. So there are a couple options if you're really stuck and you've got an odd two or three or a handful of Windows 7 devices that you need to see, keep using. Most people are going to need those because of legacy applications. So line of business apps and things like that that you just can't get off. Right. Um, Microsoft is offering a service for uh, for their customers that's called Windows Desktop App Assure. So if you've got an app that you're concerned about compatibility, they will help you figure that out. You just go and you file a ticket with them and then they will contact you and you'll have an engineer work with you to get that compatibility. So it's important, I guess, if you had three things that people had to be focused on is one, you got to make sure you know where all your devices are. Even if they're not connected to the internet, you need to be looking at them, identifying them, and having them ready for a migration. Mm -hmm. The second thing is your data, making sure you know where your data is and that your right. data is protected and backed up. Okay. And then your apps, making sure your apps are, are that you know what apps you have, what apps you're your users use and that they are brought forward in the migration as well. Windows 10, most everything that worked with Windows 7 should work with Windows 10. Microsoft's numbers right now is pointing to about a third of the apps that are being brought to their attention do have compatibility issues. The other 70% right. or so are working. Okay. Well, I'll link to the article below and definitely check it out. There's a lot of information. There's a lot of great tips there. Um, but thanks for walking us through it today, Rich. Oh, you bet, Nicole. Thanks. If you've got career-related goals for 2019, we've got two must-reads for you this week. The first looks at the outlook for AI jobs, specifically looking at gender diversity. The outlook is not good, and this has all kinds of implications for the products that use machine learning and AI. If software development is more your thing, you'll be interested to hear how 
low-code development tools are impacting software developers' ability to get jobs. If you're tasked with buying new devices for your workplace this year, be sure to mark down February 20th on your calendar. That's the date Samsung is set to launch three new Galaxy devices, and the company has promised all sorts of benefits to enterprise users. For a rundown of those features and more, be sure to check out our article, which I'll link below. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video. I'm here every Friday with the news you need to know. Until next time, thanks again.